expense greater than 100% or less than 1%. Now it's possible to have over 100%, and hopefully some of you guys have seen that on a test when you've got an extra credit, um, or it's possible to get less than 1%. Uh, examples, 150 out of 100 is 150%, or 5 out of 1,000 is 0.5%, because it's less than one uh, hundredth of the actual amount, so it's less than a full percent. Now, rewriting follows the same rules as for a percent from 1% to 100. So if we look here, we're going to look and see what I'm talking about. Over here, rewriting percents greater than 100, 100. So this 130%, all we're going to do to change that into a decimal is just move it to space. Move the decimal two spaces over. Remember, it's there. One, two, just like with the other stuff. And here, this is going to be 130 over 100 if we want to change it into a fraction. And so that's just going to be equal to 1 and 30 hundredths, so 1 and 3 tenths. Now over here, this is 225%, so again, decimal point, two space over, 1, 2, so 2.25, and then 225 divided by 100. Remember that percent sign just means divide by 100, so it's going to be Two and twenty-five hundreds. It's equal to equal to two and one quarter. So that's how we do it for greater than one hundred percent. Rewriting percents less than one percent a little bit harder. Not a lot though, because remember that that just means divide by hundred. So this is just going to be zero point three divided by hundred. And we don't like that because it's mixing fractions and decimals, so we can't do that. So what do we do? Multiply both the top and the bottom by 10, and then we have 3 over 1,000, because that's the same thing. So that's as a fraction. We do the same thing for writing it writing as decimals, but here we can't move the decimal over a couple of places very easily because we don't have... Uh, the decimal place to move it. So we just add an extra, let's add a couple of extra zeros because we can do that. So this is going to be 1, 2. So it's going to be 0 0.003 is the decimal equivalent. And same thing over here. This is going to be, uh, let's see, 0 0.01 over 100. So we multiply that, in this case, by 100, and we're going to end up with 1 over 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 over 10,000. And uh, so that's the fraction equivalent. And same thing as we did right over here. We're going to add a couple more zeros here, because we need to move it over a couple of zeros. So now, decimal point over, 1, 2. So it's going to be 0 0.0001. And so that's 1, 2, so that makes sense. So um, that's how we do it with the less than 1%. Now writing mixed numbers as percents, same thing, relatively easy. All we do is, well, that's going to mean it's 400%. And then we got to deal with the 3 quarters. This here is going to mean it's 100% plus whatever we have for the three-fifths. So three-quarters, well, three-quarters, we can do it one of two ways. Remember, we could do it the three-quarters times the top and bottom by 25, and you end up with 75 over 100. So that's the actual final answer is going to be that's equal to the 4 part. Final answer is going to be 475%. And the other way I'll show you with this one here, this is going to go into 100%, but 3 over 5, remember we could just change this into a decimal, 
5 goes into 3 how many times? It goes in 0 times, but then it goes in uh, 0.6 times. So I'm left with 0 over. So this is actually going to be 1.6. And so we go ahead and we change that into a decimal by moving, uh, change that into a percent by moving it over two spaces. So one, two, we have 160%. And that's all there is.